All right, everybody, welcome back to the Kingdom of Segalia. We've got donkeys. We've got people sleeping underground. And uh, we've got uh, a lot of fucking sticks, I guess. But uh, we're going to continue building. We are getting really close to having some of the more fun industries at our disposal. Uh, blacksmithing, all that kind of jazz. Uh, I don't know why the music decides to play like at random. Hey, I got to turn off this, this music. Um, the music in this game... Just, just doesn't work very well. It's great music. Just, uh, it's all over the place. All right. We're getting some flax going. We're getting all the basic stuff going. Uh, one of our donkeys is now contributing to society by hauling shit. And that's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, the other donkey is being taught. However, our, you know, animal husbandry type thing is a little low on the low side of leveling. So it is taking, uh, quite a bit of time. All right. Um, yeah, lots of fun to be had. We've got a little bit of research we can probably look at. Nope. No, we don't. All right. Uh, let's make sure that everybody here is packing the right equipment. Um, they don't seem to be prioritizing equipment correctly. So we're going to go to, okay, he's auto equipping. And he's still doing the short bow. I think it's probably because of the quality got most of our dudes with short bows. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Uh, we do have the capacity to make long bows. And we should be... Okay, two out of two. I don't know if that's taking into consideration what's in hand or what's in stock. I was under the impression it would have been what is in stock. However, maybe I'm wrong. So let's just do six. All right, Steven Seagal is our go-to guy on this stuff, so we'll let him do his thing. We did get our new applicant. I don't know what the fuck you want to call him. Uh, they're helping out. What the hell are they helping out with? All right, let's look at the jobs. I know I got one of them. Okay, yeah, Randy and Estrella should be doing research. The new person is cooking, cutting plants, growing, and harvesting. Cool. So we got um, two people on pretty much everything. That's kind of like one of the better places to be. You know, we're doing great. It's the start of a new year. So, hopefully shit starts going our way finally. I do feel like I need, potentially, some kind of super tower within this design. Not sure. Um, the best place to put that would be, potentially, right here. I'm just going to start doing it. go hopefully no one gets stuck in the freaking walls all right um so the only way up is through here and i should probably keep some consistency and then we'll do another staircase up right here actually that's the worst place to do it um because it will block our shot so let's do it right here There we go, perfection. Um, I think I think that's perfection. We'll find out, won't we? All right. I think we should probably be able to get something a little bit nicer than these these bad boys. Um, we're gonna switch everything out here in a moment. And they should be able to kind of go sideways there. Cool. All right, we got a corner piece. Perfect. Corner piece. Corner piece. There we go. All right, so we'll get that a little bit higher up. They can shoot arrows. Uh, maybe get a little bit better of a a damage modifier. I think that I think once you get high, you, you get a higher crit chance. Is what I read. Um, but I don't think you get too much more from being this high. Ah, someone pointed this out to me, and I wish I would have known that. Um, the reason my shit is uh, going away is because I don't have a floor. I didn't know that. And that's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Realistically, you should have a floor everywhere, because um, they, get, they get the cave dweller without it. So I think we're just going to go on the great 
the great floor flooring put floors everywhere all right. all right so we're gonna need them to start cutting down trees again and that's a pretty easy thing to accomplish we're also gonna need them to start planting the damn trees um, looks like we're getting some progress there and we have this whole back area out here, so lots of lots of room for all that. There's a little too much going on at times. Alright, cool. Yeah, eventually I'm going to bust out this room, and I'm probably going to make it this big. I can use this uh, tower as a, ba a backup area. Nice, Steven Skull's getting that carpentry up. Alright, now people still have short bows. Long bow, short bow. Why do you not have a bow? I want you on aggressive. They're all on flea? Alright, we'll put them back on flea. Um, I feel like they're letting me down. All right, well, we'll find out what's what's what when uh, we get settlers or idle. Who's idle? Scott. Um, Scott's idle because he's stuck in the goddamn wall. All right. Um. Well, that's yeah, that's a predicament. All right. Thanks for that. Don't get stuck in the gash barren walls. We'll, we'll build it piece by piece if we have to. Alright. No more people getting stuck in walls. That's kind of embarrassing. Alright. Alright, if we go to times one, we get all the normal sound effects. But, uh, Super Saiyan mode. Things get weird and glitchy. All right, Steven should be making more bows. Um, cool, we got a longbow right there. So, why the fuck has she not picked this up? Ah, level 10 marksman. Okay, cool. Um, that means one of these other guys needs to drop one of their shit bows so that she can grab that. That makes sense. All right, and that might be actually why these other people are not grabbing uh, the longbow. It looks like someone actually just finally did um, hatchet. Oh, no, they didn't. Scott should definitely get that longbow. There we go. Alright, one longbow for Scott. That's gonna help out a lot. Perfect. They're suffering from cold. It shouldn't be that fucking cold. Lots of, lots of heat down there. Alright. We're kind of... Oh, nice. Yeah, armor would be nice, but we need to get smelting. Oh, crossbows. Um, crossbows would be nice, but we need smelting more than anything. Let's get this. Hit the wrong button. Every game I play, I have to remember how to turn things. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, we got so much clay. If, I feel like I just need more people more than anything. But I want to make sure I'm getting the right people. Our food situation is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, I don't know why they're being such weirdos about eating. I'll have to sacrifice some berries. Um, we could go hunting. Not a lot of wild mushrooms and stuff that uh, normally are out. Oh, there we go. But they're not fully grown, so we have to wait. Yeah, we'll have a good food supply here pretty soon. Alright, 
well, we'll get some berries for people. Unfortunately, I'll have to prematurely, you know, do some of this stuff. But hopefully they can get some food in them. Uh, we might need to go hunting. I'm worried that once I attack these wolves, they're all going to start aggroing. All right, I got a merchant vessel. I guess we can hunt this fox. We can hunt the rabbits, too. Oh, there's a... I don't know if anyone can get to that pig, though, the way that I have this all kind of terraformed out, unfortunately. Yeah, that pig's just going to have to be in limbo for a bit. Tutorial. I don't need no tutorial. Tell me what to do. Okay. Um, where the freak is that merchant? I don't see the merchant yet. Should be coming to my stall any time now. Nope, there they are. Alright. So we'll get Steven Seagal to come over here and trade with this dude. All right, what's he got? So they had, they just added this to the game, the gold coins. So now you can you can just buy shit straight up with coin. That's pretty cool. Um, that definitely makes trade a little bit more viable uh, in a lot of ways. So, ooh, yeah, that'd be a good one. Light armor. Oh, I can't get any of that. Oh, it's all my shit. Oh, cool. I can't sell my tarts. I need my tarts. Choir? Okay, so he's... Oh, that's him. He's got tarts. He's got a... This is dog food, I think. Meal, limestone bricks. He's got lots of leather. He's got ice bricks. Those have been nice. I've been using those to preserve my food. Uh, he's got herbs. Uh, none of the other shit. I can acquire a flimsy headband. Woo. Uh, flaxseed? Um, probably going to get ten more of those. I can sell him uh, any of this stuff. Coal seems like a f kind of interesting one um, to sell, but it's not worth shit, so never mind. Yeah, look at his gold value. Uh, the books are worth the, the, the biggest. Just one book, literally, will give me those 10 seeds. So, Cabbage seed, I got 35. Uh, beet seeds. Yeah, We want to start getting a little bit of seeds here. Carrot. Carrot seed. All right. Yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start acquiring seeds. My right, beeswax. Ooh, we can buy another donkey. He's twenty-five year old donkey though. Hmm. No. Sorry. And we got already got cabbage seed, but I gotta do something with all this money that I got coming in here. Okay, right there. Trade him two books for a bunch of seeds. You can't, uh, you can't get deals like that. That's a good deal. All right, and then once we yield this, we'll be back up to status quo, and that'll be great. All right, cool. We're planting more bushes, or we're planting more uh, black seeds. So we currently have this on ripe, which means we'll get 11 linen cloth and 5 seed per, which is really good. We could build up, you know, a bunch of seeds. Eventually, I'll just have a seed farm itself that produces the exact amount of seeds that I need to keep continuously fill these areas. It'll just be like a weird little checker box thing. Because um, then I can just, I could just do, say, hey, I want this all just go into seed. And then these guys can just be ripe. And they'll yield one seed in 15 beats. Um, I might not even actually have to do what I was just talking about. I guess I could just do ripe. Well, yeah. Interesting. So it, it gets... I don't know. The the farming in this game is something I definitely need to, to keep my eye on. Learn a little bit more about. Um, Alright, we're going to get some more food. I hate picking these berries prematurely, but... Uh, yeah, foods? We're kind of fucked. Um... One thing that scares me is, like, when the seasons come in, like, it will just kill all your crops, so that's why you kind of need backup seeds. Okay, so we got beets, we got flax, that's 
one good thing about having, you know, like a little bit of a backup thing. Cabbage. Um, carrots would be nice. So let's start doing carrots. Let's just start getting a little bit more. More food under our belt. Oh, I didn't give that, these guys the same. Um, the same thing, so. This is going to be kind of it for that these two crop fields over here, though, because I can only expand there. And then I got this back up. And I got more crops that can go here. We'll get to a, a good place. Alright. I'm not sure why everybody is sleeping. Yeah, we're still running low on wood. It's kind of scary. Alright, cool. So we're getting all the beets planted now. We're gonna have ourselves some good farming coming in here eventually. Alright, we got food. Call it that. Just berries. Ber Without the berries, I'd have been dead... 50 times over by now. Just realized it wasn't picking up the sound. Man, the sound in this game is so weird. I just had to reset it. It cuts in and out all the time. It's pretty annoying, actually. That's why I just add my own music in. All right, we almost got all the clay stuff planted, too. That's pretty good. All right, cool. So we're planting more bushes. I'm actually probably going to need to harvest a bunch more so I can get all these bushes planted and so that they have something to eat. Now we're getting more food up. We got carrots over here. We got uh, herbs for healing. We got beets over here, and beets are great. And... We want to make sure. Alright, we want to make sure that this is set to flowering. We want to get as much seeds as possible. Same with the herbs, ripe. Alright. Over here, we have these unripe. We just take whatever we want. Because there's no seeds. The seed is the fruit itself, so. All right, we're getting close to having two donkeys. That's going to be really nice. Uh, see, you can see this one donkey is hauling for us. It's really cool. He's down in the, he's down in the mines hauling. It saves uh, saves us a lot of work. I think he's bringing the seeds down. He's a good donkey. All right. And we're going through stuff pretty quick here. Getting a little scary. I know I have some wild mushrooms and stuff that I could uh, start looking into. Where the hell are they? All right, well, I guess we don't. I could start hunting the uh, cattle. Oh, here we go. Mushrooms. Nice. Got tons of mushrooms over here. I'll get us through maybe like a half a day right there. All right, and I got a trough over here for the uh, the donkeys, but they'll just eat whatever they want. They're pretty good about that stuff. Donkeys just kind of eat whatever they see, and that's fine with me. Not like we have any fancy food here. All right, uh, they still haven't busted that out. I need to get that up. Why haven't you built this for me? And we need to start producing iron. There we go.
kind of a kind of fun to watch that. It's like there we go. Cool. All right, so we can make iron ingots now. Probably want to have like what a hundred? No. Let's do thirty. Gold, silver. That's good enough for me. All right. I don't even think we have any iron ore, but we do have iron ore over here. So I need to start mining. Actually, we should make sure we're doing this smart. Otherwise, you start getting the iron ore stuck down in the crevice. All right, cool. Bunch of berries. That should be enough to plant the rest of the field. We should start now yielding massive amounts of these berries, um, which should feed everybody. The hardest part is just getting the whole thing out, and I kind of messed it up earlier. Um, there we go. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Steven's over here getting us some freaking iron. He's not doing a very good job, though. There we go. Hopefully a donkey comes and picks that up. Oh, he mangled the resources, you piece of shit. All right. Oh, nice. That iron pile is getting massive. All right, how much iron? 90. That's pretty good. i make sure that none of it gets in that hole. Cool. Yeah, we got 90. Cool. Now I just need to have um, anybody prioritize production for it. Cool, go grab that damn iron. The donkey's not doing shit. All right, we got, yeah, 150 iron. That's great. Now we can start making stuff. All right, sweet. It's always cool when you get a new technology going. Um, decorative structures and banners are important for making uh, rooms, but I want to prioritize potentially... Getting something else like crossbows going. I think I need um, some kind of. Yeah, I think I need to get blacksmithing next. Oof, we need bricks. Okay. Well, we have a brick maker. Um, I don't think he's doing shit right now. Yeah, limestone brick uh, until you have 110. Cool. Now we can start making limestone brick. I think we almost got all the flooring down over here. We're still getting more wood. Seems like I really need to start focusing on getting wood going. And we probably don't want to use up our good good space. Um, so let's look at what kind of trees we can plant. No birches. How many maples do we have? I don't think it's going to tell me. I think I just have to kind of guess. 120. And six. Six it is. All right. No oak trees. Oaks, we have a lot of. 36. Pine trees? Oh, damn. Got a lot of those, too. All right, well, let's just stick with those. That's probably enough trees, and hopefully we can get some more birch trees going. Man, yeah, we want to do all these until they're mature. Oh, I accidentally overrode the, the maples. Hmm. What a shame. I'll just leave it out. Oh, it's, yeah, I see. There's a uh, clay back here. Oh, wow, look at all that seed. Herbs. We got a bunch of herbs going. All right, so our food our food supply is starting to... Nice, we're making pies, lots of pies. Food supply is going to start really acquiring here, so that's good. Um, we can get some hay. That's fantastic, because the donkeys uh, eat, eat this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we need, to get, we need to get our entire storage area filled up with as much of those wood planks as possible so it stops degrading. That's why it's degrading. That's some noob shit right there for me. I didn't know that. But yeah, once I get the... Uh, oh, crap. I have all these longbows down here. Yeah, see, it's decomposing one year. All right, cool. We almost got all of this shit planted. It's going to be so easy once we get full gardens going. Then it's just 
Rinse and repeat. All right, we're getting attacked. Oh, God damn. All right, what do we got? What do we got here? Melee units don't count. Master Archer. Master Archer. Uh, Master Archer. Master Archer. Master Archer. Master Archer. Master Archer. Master Archer. Okay, so we're fucked. Um, that's fine. All right. Probably gonna have to play the wait out the clock game. Uh, these people aren't really that powerful. I need to get uh, my back tower up. Oh, it is up. Can any of them get to it? Nope. All right, let's get everybody in position. And let's make sure we get this tower up at some point soon. All right. All right, so we got Randy with the bow. We got Scott with the bow. Um, let's see what we can do. Problem is, is we don't... Oh, shit, no, 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 donkey! Donkey, no! Donkey, no! Oh, God. Get back here, donkey! I don't know if they attack donkeys. Do they not attack donkeys? Oh, these are civilized... Marauders, though, okay. I'm used to those donkey killing raiders. He's letting them in. Okay. They didn't even they didn't even take advantage. These are the most these are the most respectful bandits I've ever seen. They didn't even take advantage of that donkey. They easily could have just followed the donkey in and killed everybody, but they're being real polite about this. Um alright. So we're gonna we're gonna see how how long we can we can uh, survive. I'm gonna hold my guys back here. Um, I do want to fight. I like to fight. Fighting is fun, and we need to get more people with longbows. You can see we're getting a much longer range from being up here. But let's see how many people we can shoot walking in that doorway. Might have to chase people back. Let's speed this up. We need to start making metal armor and stuff though for our archer units so they can start tanking tanking hits. Alright, once they break in, all hell's gonna let loose. We need to kill like one or two of them, right? I wonder if I just focus all of my fire on one or two and get their shit. My god, they are taking for fucking ever to open that door. It's the strongest goddamn door in the world. Alright, here they come. Shoot that one dude. There we go. Fucking Scott already is getting fucked up. Everybody's getting fucked up already. These guys are serious. I just want one kill. Just one kill. We gotta kill one person. Damn it. We gotta shoot the dude in front of him, because... What are you doing, Scott? I don't like what you're doing. You're, you're doing crazy shit over there. Alright, well, she's gotta go down, because she's all messed up now. Stop shoot, shooting random ass people. Where are you going, Scott? You're driving me crazy. All right. Um, I guess we got we got to aim for the back. We're actually doing pretty well over here. I shouldn't say that. I'm gonna jinx myself. Um, there we go. This this chick. Nice. Killed one. Let's go for a second kill. Ooh. Shit. Man down. Man down. Okay, um, Steven needs to go rescue Randy. Ah, oh, shit.
fucking Randy's unconscious. He's walking. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. Uh, Steven's going for, um, shit, Scott's down. Alright, um, shit's getting real, and you got, she's gotta run, or she's not gonna live. Scott just needs to fucking sit there. Um, hopefully he don't bleed out. Pierce chest, pierce the lung. Alright, he's pretty fucked up. His blood is at 79. We're probably going to need a bigger boat. Alright. Where is um, Kemma? Alright, so I'm going to undraft her. She needs to go to healing. And they'll automatically start tending their wounds. Randy is... I don't know what the shit Randy's doing. Alright. I'll have him go. Oh shit, they're making progress. They actually might break in. They're not giving up. <laughs> Is this the end of Sigalia? Why aren't they going away? The other ones ran away. They're not, uh, they're not the same. They got a much longer duration. Alright, uh, well it looks like I can go grab Scott, maybe. Oh shit, Scott's alive! Well, Scott picked the right time to... To uh, move because they can't hit him. Oh God! What are you doing, Kemma? <laughs> what in God's name are you doing? Oh, she's protecting Scott from getting his ass kicked. I guess. Um, yeah, this is embarrassing. Um, this might be the end. This might be the end of our beautiful journey. Uh, and we got more. We got more places we can run, but Scott needs um a lot of, a lot of shit fast. He's he's bleeding out his ass. Oh my god. That is not, I don't know what that is, but that doesn't look good. It looks like he's bleeding out his anus. Sc Scott's like, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> it's like, no, dude. Go to the go get help, man. You're bleeding out your anus. You can't be bleeding out your anus. That's not healthy. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Um, alright, well, it looks like they're not gonna let us live. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to make our, our stand. And there's only one way Steven Seagal knows how to make a stand, and that's risking his life for everybody. Um, yeah, we're pretty fucked. Scott, did, is his anus still bleeding? Yeah, dude, his anus is still bleeding. You, you gotta, you gotta do something. Oh, Randy. All right, Steven. It's up to you. It's up to you, Steven. I could run. I could run from this battle, and I might live, but I'll never... Oh, shit, Steven is fucked. He is fucked. For Sigalia. For Sigalia. Oh, God, no. No, they're killing everybody. They've killed him. They've killed him. He's gone, Stephen. Oh my god, Stephen lives! He jumped, he jumped up. Everyone else is dead. Oh my god. He, he met, he, what the shit? Yeah, these guys aren't running. I think, I think my, um, my timer ran out. And, uh, yeah, everyone's just gonna have to die now. And that is the kingdom of Segalia. This is, um, this is, uh, the way of, of nature. Now, I'm, realistically, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, and you really do have to get your shit together fast. As you can see, like, they outnumbered me, and both, like, number, like, they just fucking way better than I am. Uh, Scott Sc Seagal was the bravest, uh, dealing the most blows. Scott Seagal took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending Segalia in its hour of need. Okay, cool. Uh, Steven Seagal blocked the most hits. It should be recorded. Awesome. Some of the buildings of Segali were destroyed under the bombardment. Yeah, they destroyed a lot of shit. Um, but that is the kingdom of Segali. Everyone is bleeding out to out. Uh, everyone's bleeding out of every orifice known to mankind. Apparently, apparently, running <laughs> just 
That's cool. They didn't. They were not gonna leave until I. Wow, they're bleeding out all their orifices too. They're, it's kind of gross. Um, they were not gonna leave until I made a human sacrifice. Now I actually could. Who did they kill? They killed that one person. We still have the originals. Um, as it is though, I feel I feel like this the series have has really uh it's come to its conclusion. This is a I think a, a tremendously great place to leave off. I've learned. A lot, and I continue to learn a lot through each playthrough. I would probably do things a little bit different. Um, I need to probably educate myself a little bit more. And uh, I need to stop, uh, stop following bad leadership. Uh, Sigalia was a, was a grand idea, and uh, it could still work, but uh, I've hurt myself so, so much that to come back from this would just be pretty much a waste of time so thank you all so much for watching the series and i appreciate the uh continuing following for it thank you